So if you have purchased Blink Mini Smart Security Camera and you don't know how to set it up, then this video is for you. Now, before getting into the, uh, you know, setup process, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before guiding you through the setup process, let me tell you what else we get in the box. Now, this is the normal packaging as you all can see. Uh, so whenever we open the box, we do get this power adapter over here and power cable, which is type A to micro USB cable. And this will help us to power the camera. Now, this is the camera which we get in the box. You can see the camera setup is at the front side. We do get Blink branding over here. And this is the ball head over here, which we can, you know, adjust manually like this. So, yeah, uh, uh, we do get all these things in the box. Now, let's start with the setup process. Now, I have connected the adapter to the power source and I have connected the cable to camera. Now, you can see there are a few lights blinking over here. So, we'll keep the camera on this side and let me tell you which application you need to use. So, you need to download Blink application which you can find on App Store and Play Store if you're using Android. So you just have to open the application once you download it. Then you have to create an account. So you can select your region. You can go on the next page. You can also, once again, you can choose your specific region. And then with the help of your email ID, you will be able to create an account. Now I have already created an account. So I'm going to sign into my account. Now, once you create your account and complete the sign in process, all you have to do is this is the home page of Blink application and you get multiple options over here. You have to look for this plus icon at the top, tap on that and over here you get multiple product option. In this, we have to select mini cameras because we have Blink mini over here. So select mini cameras option. Uh, if it is asking for permission, you just have to allow it. Now it is saying to capture the QR code printed on the device in the quick start guide or uh, enter the device serial number manually now where can you find the uh, qr code or this serial number you will find that at the back of this particular camera so if i show you you can see there is a qr code over here so you just have to scan it so we'll scan the qr code now now after scanning the qr code we get this particular page over here in that it is given create a new system so all you have to do is just select continue option now we have to name our system so it can be home vacation or anything uh, you want so i'm going to uh, set it up or name it as office and then select continue option now it will ask us to check that the blue light is blinking and green light is steady now you can see the green light is steady over here and blue light is blinking so yes all we have to do is select discover device you have to uh, join the network which is created by this particular blink mini camera so select join option over here it will ask us to uh, find the local network, which is basically the Wi-Fi network. So you have to give the permission. And if it is, uh, if it asks to turn off the data, you can just turn off your data, the mobile data. So now once uh, it detects the local Wi-Fi network, you can just select a Wi-Fi network and then enter the password and select join option. Now, once you enter the Wi-Fi password and select join option, if it is saying that updating firmware do not uh, unplug mini camera, then you just have to wait till the uh, firmware is updated. And later on, uh, we'll get to the next part of the video. Now you can see mini camera added to office system because we named it office. So select done option. Later on, you do get an option of your device comes with a free trial of cloud storage. If you want to try, uh, try it, you can do it. Now, currently we are just going to select done option. Now, if you want to check the footage of this particular camera, you do get this option over here. So if we tap on this play option, now you can see the blue light is on and we have successfully connected the camera to our mobile device and we can start using it. So if you want to mute unmute, you have this speaker option over here. If I tap on that, so it will start, uh, you know, playing the sound, which, uh, which is captured in this particular camera or this mini camera. So yeah. Uh, you, you have some more option over here. If you go on that, uh, you can do some device setting. So if I go in device setting, you can do the general setting, motion setting. You have video and photo settings over here. In general, uh, in general settings, uh, you do have the firmware update over here. What is the firmware number? And if you want to change the Wi-Fi or you want to remove the device from your mobile phone, you can do that. So there are some basic options over here in general settings. Again, uh, in motion setting, you can just simply, uh, you know, turn on the motion detection option. Now there is no motion tracking because there is no motor over here. So yeah, you just have to keep that thing in mind and you can select the motion sensitivity over here. You can, uh, you know, choose the motion zones over here triggering. You can just re-trigger the time. Uh, you can check out the notification toggle over here. So yeah, there are a few options over here. After changing the settings, don't forget to select this save option. Now in video and photo settings, you can choose the motion clip length, which is uh, 10 seconds for now. If you want to increase it, you can increase it to maximum 30 seconds. 
so yeah uh, after that video quality you can choose best uh, standard and saver so for each setting you can check out what will be the data required so this is 3 plus mbps for standard it is 2 plus mbps and for saver it is 500 plus kbps so you can choose whichever option you want uh, if you want to flip the video you can do that because whenever you mount the camera upside down like this you need to flip the video so you have that option as well so yeah there is night vision ir intensity so there are multiple options in the settings which you can check you can also do the audio settings and privacy settings so yeah that's how simple it is to set up blink mini camera with your mobile phone i hope this video was helpful if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you all in the next one thank you